Jersey City is the second largest city in the Garden State. It's a little over 20 square miles and it's bordered by the Hudson River and has long served as a transportation and manufacturing hub for neighboring New York City. Public housing in Jersey City serves over 15,000 people. That's a lot. The Jersey City Housing Authority is led by Vivian Brady Phillips. She's got a big job and energy to spare. She put it to use during the pandemic to help Jersey City residents get connected. As she told us before the COVID era began, roughly one third of those living in public housing had no broadband at home. So she worked with local carriers to find new ways to reach those residents and work to promote what was at first the emergency broadband benefit and later became the Affordable Connectivity Program. She even hired a digital inclusion coordinator to work with residents on a one-by-one -one basis to help them navigate enrollment. You see, Vivian is onto something. This is what it takes to connect a community. This is what helps households at risk of falling on the wrong side of the digital divide. So let's take that approach and do it at national scale. Because by statute, everyone receiving federal housing assistance is eligible for the Affordable Connectivity Program. But we know so many of these households are still unserved. That's why today we're creating this special pilot program to develop creative ways to reach this population, just like what we saw in Jersey City. We're committing $10 million to this effort because we know there are millions of households residing in these communities that could benefit from the Affordable Connectivity Program. This pilot program, which we are calling Your Home, Your Internet, would not be happening today without the leadership of Commissioner Starks. He saw very clearly that this was an underserved population. They were called out in the law and they needed special focus. 